So, uh, since the beginning, actually, uh, the beginning of AI is in the 1950s. Huh? Uh, there were people who were already thinking about using AI to do creativity. In the beginning, uh, mostly in the domain of music, in fact. Uh, with uh, Lichar and Hiller is the most important person. Now, um, basically what he and then many generations after him and still today say is creativity when either you define a grammar of some sort, like, you know, the sonata, grammar for sonatas, or for painting a particular grammar, and then you, you fill in the details. So, and you generate variations on that. Um, so this is, now, uh, I don't think this is very creative, but this is what is presented as being creative. Or story, you know, create a creation of stories, you make a story grammar, and then you create a variant of that. Uh, more recently with, with neural networks, the idea is to, to not write the grammar, but that this grammar is learned, you know, but it's more statistical, it's less based on structural patterns, I mean symbolic structures, but it is more based on, on statistical patterns. Uh, but it's the same idea, you, you extract the structure and then you generate a new work by variations, by choices, ran random choices on how you fill in the details of this pattern. So I, I, I don't think that this is uh, really what creativity is all about. I mean, um, so then the question is, what, what is it about, <laughs> right? But I would say it is, uh, it is about finding new solutions to problems. Uh, now, the problem in the case of, of uh, artworks is is about expressing certain things, um, you know, and about the coherence of, of an image. And I mean, all the things that we, we have been talking about uh, uh, with uh, Luc Thomas. And so, um, the, uh, and then you, you see that uh, every artist has a, a method, an artistic method, or more than one, but it's a method that that he develops or she develops, you know, over years uh, and, and change, and the method evolves and changes. Uh, that's also what Damans says about his own work, that his method of doing things is changing. And so the, which means that he is creative in the method that he's using. So he's come up, he's coming up with new ways of, of achieving certain effects or he finds new effects that he couldn't do before uh, using an existing method and maybe creating a variation or maybe even an error at some point, uh, which then creates novelty. So it's, it's a bit like an evolutionary process, except of course that it's not by random mutations, but it is by, by practicing the art and discovering new things and thinking of uh, new ways to do things uh, that, that the creativity takes place. And so this form of creativity is uh, obviously much more difficult to, for AI systems to emulate. But, um, you know, so... But that's where I think we have to search for it. And again, studying artists and how they create new works and how their work evolves over time, uh, and how viewers view a work, and the viewing of a work changes over time, is, is all is interesting uh, material, if you want, to help us understand the creative process. <laughs>